another one of our most popular appetizers is, of course, the famous guacamole. We use the Haas avocado. Uh, you can see by its color, it's very dark, and it's just the right texture. Not mushy, but you can feel that it's ready to be cut. You can see by the color of the avocado, this is the way it should look. No brown spots, it's nice and yellowish on the inside and a little green on the outside. Now we're going to chop the onion. And in Mexico, as I said before, the onion is very, very sweet, uh, which I think really adds to the flavor of the guacamole. So when you're gonna make your guacamole in the States, use the Walla Walla or the Vidalia. This is a chile serrano. This is one of the hottest peppers. So uh, judge accordingly. Either use a little bit, take the seeds out, or if you want it nice and spicy, you would use this whole pepper. We're gonna make it kind of mild today. We're gonna use only half of a chile serrano. And now comes our cilantro. The cilantro that we're using is about a tablespoon. Now we're gonna use another one of our uh, Roma tomatoes. I would suggest that you make this without using your food processor and use your knife. It's, uh, I think you'll find that's nicer, the chunkiness. The color, as you can see, you can see the, the colors that are very popular because we use so much uh, onion and, and greenery and so many tomatoes is, uh, is always very colorful, always uh, reminiscent of the of, uh, Mexican flag, the colors of Mexico. Now, many people use lime on their uh, guacamole. We do not because it adds, um, sort of adds another flavor. Depending on how you like your guacamole, you're free to use it. Now we're gonna put a pinch of salt. You know, the, um, there's very different types of gu guacamole. Uh, we sometimes offer as a special a, a chipotle guacamole, which is very nice. Instead of using uh, serrano chilies, we use chipotle chilies, and it gives it a little different smokier kind of flavor, and, and very delicious. Now we've got the avocado. We've got it nicely smooshed, but it's still a little bit uh, chunky. It's not liquefied. And now we add our uh, all our chopped vegetables. The guacamole in Mexico, because of the sweetness of the onion, uh, the flavor just blends really well. You can taste it all. You can taste the uh, the cilantro and the tomato and the onion. And here we have. Cabbage guacamole.